of Heron's formula work up the area of triangle, given that the sides will be irrational. Now we'll start uh, using the this information on the diagram. We know that look at the, the uh, angle C, we know that H over A equals sine C. Therefore, H equals then the area of the triangle is half the base times the height. And the base is obviously B, and replacing H with A sine C. We have the area of the triangle in the familiar form, half is rearranging alphabetic order, A, B, sine C. Okay, now we know that the, the cos of C equals X on A. Now we'll just run through what we did in the first part of Heron's formula. And we'll say that h squared equals a squared minus x squared. That's the left hand side here. And we'll proceed with the rest of it as we did before. Now from up here, we know that cos C equals x on A. Therefore, cos C is equal to over A, which is obviously 2BA, or 2AB. And that's the familiar cosine rule. All right, now we can see that uh, cos C equals A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AB. And I put that on this right angle triangle. And this uh, the side opposite angle C will make that P. All right, so using Pythagoras theorem, we can see that P squared must be equal to 2AB all squared minus a squared plus b squared minus c squared all squared. Which of course means that sine c must equal Now you recall earlier that the area of the triangle so we'll simply replace sine C with the above. Which reduces down to area of that uh, triangle there uh, in three dimensions. You can see there what the, what the coordinates are, so we'll have to use um, a, like an extension of uh, Pythagoras' theorem, and I'll start off with a, a B. So A, B will simply be equal to the square root of and continuing on we get course means that a is equal to square root of 20, b is equal to square root of 25, which is 5, and c is equal to the square root of 
you're doing. Yes, I'm putting these values in the formula to get to the area equals. Uh, 